Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this very short tutorial on uh, sentiment prediction for text using Python. So we'll be using the Internet Movie Database, uh, otherwise very well known as IMDB data, right? So when we want to watch a new movie, we always look at IMDB reviews. So we will be taking those movie reviews and using open source sentiment uh, toolkits and compute sentiment score for each review. And in this data set, we also have the actual manually tagged flag as positive or negative for every review. So we can even compare how well these open source toolkits are doing with respect to a human uh, label or tag provider, right? So let's get started. So I am using the standard libraries of pandas, numpy, and all those things. And I'm using the text blob library, which is a very widely used open source sentiment toolkit. Uh, it, it's basically derived from Google. Uh, and then we have this classification report as well, which which we can use to compare how the sentiment, uh, text blob sentiment prediction fares with respect to the human labels that we have, right? So let's import these libraries right now. Uh, let's also in, in, uh, read the data set. So this is how, uh, you know, the data set looks like. It has two columns, the review and the sentiment. So you have all these reviews here as documents. And for each review, you also have a human label tag as positive or negative, which we will not use right now. We can use later to compare how good our prediction is. Right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I have written two apply functions, very straightforward. Uh, so, so this text blob library outputs two scores. Uh, as I said, it's derived from Google, right? So uh, that actually derives two scores. One score is called as the subjectivity score and the other score is called as the polarity score. So the polarity score is the sentiment score. It ranges between minus one to plus one. So the closer it is to minus one, it is negative. And the closer it is to plus one, it is positive. And if it's a little bit around zero, it's, it's neutral. So that's how the score is scaled. And then there's a subjectivity score. Uh, so that ranges between zero to one. And what it gives as output is, it just says how subjective is the statement. So for example, uh, the subjectivity score might be very high for line, like you are very beautiful, because beauty is just a very subjective thing. It's not objective thing. So, so it just gives a score between zero to one, closer it is to one, it just means that particular uh, line or text is very subjective. Anyway, I I'm just using this for demonstration, but for our core purpose, we will be looking only at the polarity score because that is the actual sentiment score we are interested in. So what I'm going to do is I've written apply function where I'm taking this review and I'm applying text blob of that review. So basically I'm converting that text into a text blob object. And then I'm using the dot sentiment dot subjectivity function to get the subjectivity score. Similarly for polarity, I convert the text into a text blob object, text blob of X, and I use the dot sentiment dot polarity function to get the sentiment score, which is between minus one to plus one. So let's execute this particular line and maybe I can print the score and show you how it looks like Right, so text blob subjectivity, and let's also print text blob uh, polarity. Okay, so let's Let's just uh, see how the score look like. Right, so we can see the polarity score ranges between, you know, plus one to minus one. Uh, so this is the score that we are interested in right now. And uh, so since we have the absolute score, we are going to scale them as positive or negative because our human label tag is in that particular format. So what I'm going to do is I'm writing another apply function where I flag the score as negative if the score is less than zero. And if it is zero or above zero, I'm flagging that as positive. Uh, so I'm run, let me run this. So if I print the data right now, you can see I have a new column called text blob analysis where I have the score and I, I know here it is negative and I have flagged it as negative, right? So now I also have the actual, you know, flags, positive and negative in sentiment. So what we can do is we can compare and see how many are matching with the human labeled uh, uh, data. So that just shows how powerful are these toolkits. 
So I'm using this classification report. So if you see this particular matrix, so some of you might have heard this matrix as a confusion matrix. So it's called confusion matrix because it's very confusing. Okay, so let me just try to give some clarity over here. So, but anyway, this is these are metrics derived from that matrix. This is not confusion matrix, but these are metrics that derived from that matrix. So what it says is we have two metrics like precision and recall. So when I say negative and it says 88% precision, it just says of all the negatives, uh, negative sentiment scores that test blob predicted, 88% of those scores are actually negative in the human label as well, which is pretty good. It's almost 90%, right? And similarly, if, if I see the recall, it's 46%. So what does that means is that of all the human labeled negatives that we actually have, we are able to take only about 40 or 50 percent of it in test blob, which means the test blob has flagged the remaining 50 percent where the humans labeled as negative. It it has flagged as positive in the prediction, right? So maybe they are sarcastic or it's not capturing that part which a human can capture. Right. So, so otherwise in positive, we are seeing 64 and overall we see about 76. So this 76 is the overall uh, precision. So out of all the positive and negative predicted by the um, test blob as positives and negatives, 76 percentage of them are actually positive or negative in the human label. They are concording with what the human labels have also said. So an F1 score is kind of a combination of precision and recall. It's basically a harmonic mean of precision and recall. But uh, 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 at the end of the day, what we are uh, understanding from this particular exercise is, of course, the human level is doing better, but uh, uh, but still the test blob, the open source sentiment toolkit, uh, it was a generic pre-trained thing. You didn't train anything, right? You Since it's English, you directly applied this in this data. So still, it, it is giving about, you know, a decent performance of 80% with respect to predicting positive and negative, right? So so that is how we can use ready-to-go uh, toolkits uh, and directly consume it in our daily purpose modeling exercises. So thank you and hope this was useful.